Hi, I'm Carrie from New Jersey. It is currently 4 a.m. and I just finished submitting all of my college apps. And this is what I'm doing right now. Tonight we are launching our 2017 live stream thing where we're gonna celebrate every single time zone going into 2017. Our live stream is starting at 1 a.m. our time tonight and going for almost 30 hours, ending at January 1st. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to be. This seems like it takes a long time. It didn't take as long before, but I think because now I'm adding time. You may know Abby. She's frequently in the comments of these videos, was in some of these videos around the time of VidCon. She flew into Missoula today to help us with our live stream. So Todd picked her up, and now they're on their way over to meet us at Market on Front for some delicious sandwiches. There's a sandwich there called the Fruity Bird, which I think is the second best sandwich in Missoula. The first being the Megadeth and Paglieri. The first best sandwich in the world is the uh, Italian grinder for Mancino's in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> I've never tried it. I'll take it. We'll see. If I ever visit Michigan, we'll see if it is better than the Italian it's from Potbelly. So fresh. Hey, remember when the uh, the council was debating on whether or not to let this building get knocked down? I don't remember if I told you guys, but they voted in favor of knocking it down. That's going to happen at some point. It's still, it's still here, though. That was like six months ago when they said, "Okay, let's knock it down." I think that was before Complexia moved. Place. I think it was when we were moving. Hi, Abby. Hi. I know how much you like to wash your hands. I had them bring a, a sink over for you. Thank you. Yeah. I was looking for that. Uh, my hands were feeling real dirty. Todd, actually, why is there a sink outside our office? It looks nicer than the sinks that are in the bathroom for the women. It is a nicer it sink is. than exists <laughs> inside. We came to this coffee place to get Abby some coffee. Todd got some coffee as well. However, did you guys notice that this place is just covered in papyrus? So this is where the magic's gonna happen. I wanna call it that. We have a few more things to set up. So we're gonna have a fax machine, so uh, it's gonna be too late for you, but uh, other people can fax, fax us things. I don't know, a recipe? The picture they drew? I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is for the, the Vive play area? Yeah, so uh, essentially, like, we'll be moving this over here, and this whole area will be the play area. We have to set up the OBS for the, for the Tweech. Tweech. I'm going to make a bad, a bad pun, but then I lost it. It's almost showtime. Caitlin's getting OBS set up. We've got the tweets with our hashtag cinema NYE. Also, facts. Send us a fax of your right Although, I, I suppose it's worth noting that by the time people see this video, sending a fax to that number will... Yeah, don't, don't do that. Nothing will happen because there won't be a fax machine plugged yeah. into it anymore. So we've started our live stream, but we're having a lot of technical issues, including the fact that right now we can't get a good, decent Wi-Fi connection between the computer we're trying to stream from and the internet that MCAT has here. We're broadcasting to 65 people right now, but we are just broadcasting nothing, which sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Cinema Studios New Year's Eve live stream 2017. Hey, there's a Todd Five for you. So we have Todd. Yo. We have Caitlin over there. Uh, we have Abby over here. Um, and it is 1.24 in the morning. You forgot the, the Kelsey in the back. Uh, in the Twitch stream, Home With My Bookshelf asked, is Michael vlogging as well as live streaming? I am now. Look at this. This is what the live stream looks like for me. Nuts. Nuts. Crazy. Crazy. Nuts. Okay. We've also been joined by Marcus. He brought his, his big tablet with him. What are you going to do with that thing? I'm going to draw pictures. Good morning. I, uh, <laughs> I think it was around 7 or 8 o'clock this morning. I finally laid down and slept for, I guess it was after 7 o'clock for sure. So it must have been closer to 8. And I slept until about noon. So I got four hours in. We've been streaming the whole time. It's been a lot of fun. I knew that this is a thing that I wanted to do 
again in the future. I think going through with it, I, I can tell like, yeah, this is something that I am excited to continuously improve and put effort into making a bigger, better thing out of it. Right now though, I had to come down to Claire Emery's studio where she does her wood carvings um, because she's doing her, her last step of the process today and that is uh, painting the prints. So I need to get some footage of that happening. So they're, they're waterproof, so they're covered in a sheeny oil there. Hey, dude. Let's get in the grape in there. See if you can pull them right. Nice work. Very nice. Well, something feels wet. <laughs> but it's like a cord. I thought it was yeah. she's cooked on this. Oh. She's got like orange big eyelashes. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> like, it looks like skin. It's crazy. Cool. And they're orange. It looks like a sunset. It's amazing. It is skin. So it's specialized skin. Yeah. And it just, it shows off her health. And vibrance. This is a really good exercise for her. Look at this sturdy branch. Ready? Which one do you want? Thank you. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. So she's called a ball python. It's kind mm -hmm. of her nickname. Can you guess why she might be called a ball python? Yes. Not bald as in losing hair, but ball. B A L L. Is it because yeah. like food in your stomach makes like a big ball? That's a good guess. Different patterns on them. This is a natural color that you would find in the wild. And this is something that humans have bred and manipulated. Here she is, guys. Okay, we'll do a close up and then we'll let her walk around. This is a baby African crested porcupine. She's about two and a half months old and she's gonna get huge, but right now she's super cute and she has the best mohawk. She'll sprint backwards and impale them with her two foot quills. These guys do not have barbed quills, so it's just like a big needle. So they have to have a ton of force behind their poke in order to really get it in. She has no quills on her belly and under her arms. Okay. So if you hold her under her arms, put a finger between her chest. But if you if you try and cradle her butt, you will get poked. Okay. Don't do it. No butts. Oh, am I holding her well enough? She looks like Not she's really. kind of scared. <laughs> yeah. We can also try a cradle. Okay, yeah, maybe a cradle would work better. Okay, so put your arms straight across your belly. Yep. There we go. We'll try this. Here we go. People want to know what porcupines are related to. They are rodents, and so they're related to guinea pigs and rats and chinchillas. Hi. Hey, this um, is cool, man. <laughs> oh, hey. Maybe not oh, shoulder. You want a shoulder? Sure. Yeah. I signed on for this. I'm like very, very uh, close to face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to do whatever it takes to protect this animal. <laughs> But these guys are closely related to, they're an insectivore, and their their closest relatives are the mole, and they do not have ever-growing teeth. <laughs> Just crunchy. Oh, they have little smiles. Sharp little teeth <laughs> with really long little noses. Shrews and moles and tenors. Mm -hmm. And their quills, unlike porcupine quills, they also, they do not come out. So I touch her, and they don't come out of my, I can't come out of her. And they don't have any barbs. Professor Claw is an emperor scorpion, and she is found in different areas in Africa. They are the second largest scorpion in the entire world. They are not deadly to humans. She's only she's about two and a half years old, and they can get to be eight inches long, fully extended. She's she's still she's still working on it. She's still growing. Look at that. If you want, you can do the. the Oh, yeah. oh, you're touching my thumb. <laughs> that was a scary like, second. What is that? That was a scary when second that? when your claw was on my thumb. <laughs> She's feeling it, you see? So she uses yeah. her claws to feel where, and she has little, um, they look like hairs or bristles. Um, yeah. that she has to on sense. her big claws, yeah. And so she, when she's exploring or she's in a new place, she'll hold her claws out in front of her and she'll, they'll kind of be her sensors. So she has eyes, but they're not that great. So we'll put an ad out on Craigslist for someone who is excited to have themselves viewed while they sleep. Okay. And then we will construct a place for them to sleep that has a bunch of different camera angles okay. and stuff. Some kind of uh, AI thing that will uh, switch camera angles every so often and we'll get 
microphones positioned so that you can like hear them breathing really closely while they're sleeping. So it's sort of like you know watching someone sleep and getting your ASMR kick at the same time. Um, and every time the total number of donations hits like a hundred dollars or whatever on the stream, there's just a big ro robotic arm that smashes bread into their face. And then wake up. I think it should be like a wheel of robotic arms with yeah. a different bread each time. So like once like a dinner different roll, hard like a baguette. Yeah. Like, so like it like some crumble and then this one has butter on it. Okay, so I I want there to be a wheel that has different food items that's just constantly moving <laughs> and then it, uh, yeah, it depends on like when the last donation oh, comes yeah. in it just grabs the nearest one and smashes this it this is up. actually a, a no joke this is a good idea we should not be filming this because other people are going to steal it our live stream is still going it's 11.54 we have 6 minutes until Missoula goes into 2017 that was a double Todd five. You know what, Todd? Yeah. So not only are we four minutes away from 2017, mm -hmm. we're also four minutes away from the end of this season of what I'm doing right now, because a new season starts January 1st. What changes do we want to make for the new season? Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it's fun to say we only have three and a half minutes to figure it out, but we're not going to edit this video until like a month from now. Okay, it's getting there. 11.57. Thank you everybody for making my 2016 better than it would have been without you. One minute! Yeah. I hear people honking horns outside. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Marcus, what are you 20. doing? Mark are you ready? Oh. Are you gonna pop up? Oh, okay. 2017 Jack in the Box. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 